coordinator here at the Alumni Relations Office at the University of Montana. And we're gearing up for Homecoming 2008. The theme this year is Back to the Future. The Homecoming kickoff party this Sunday at Southgate Mall will start things off from 1 to 3 p.m. Um, we'll have prizes to give away, an um, ultimate tailgate party raffled off, or the raffle beginning for that, um, that giveaway, and some tickets raffled off. We'll have Monty and the cheerleaders and dance team there um, to help celebrate. Um, the events continue throughout the week, almost every day. We have things going on on campus and off campus. But Wednesday evening, there is a pep rally out on the Oval with fireworks, bonfire, lighting of the M, the traditional singing on the steps. At the pep rally on Wednesday evening on, at 8 p.m. on the Oval, um, the Jubileers will be singing for our traditional singing on the steps and a lot of other events that night, um, including fireworks, bonfire, um, lighting of the M, and a pep rally with UM, football coaches, football team, Monty, cheerleaders, dance team. So that will be a really fun night. Um, Thursday there is a homecoming buffet dinner for students and public in the food zoo here on campus. We have on Friday morning the class of 1968 coming back for their 40th reunion. And um, so they'll be celebrating together Friday morning, Friday afternoon, um, and evening. We have we have kind of the bulk of our of our homecoming events beginning. Um, we have the Distinguished Alumni Awards Ceremony on Friday night, beginning at 6 p.m. in the UC Ballroom. We'll be honoring three distinguished alums um, with very prestigious award. Um, for their accomplishments, and um, following that will be a reception in the same location. And then later that night, all alumni and friends of the university are invited for a social and dance um, featuring the music of the Alumni Jazz Band. That will be at the Holiday Inn Parkside starting at 9 p.m. on Friday night. That's free and open to the public. All of our events are free and open to the public except for the homecoming buffet dinner, which has an $8.75 charge for the meal. But other than that, all of the homecoming events are free, and we invite everyone to come along. Um, the homecoming parade is, is Saturday morning, starting at 10 a.m., and I'm sure you'll hear more about that from our parade coordinator, Suzette Dussault. Um, later on, on Saturday, we have a really exciting new event this year for homecoming. We have an alumni tailgate party in the East Auxiliary Gym that starts at 11 a.m. and continues throughout the game. We're playing the game on a big screen TV. We have food and beverages for sale. Um, we have some great giveaways and prizes and appearances by various um, UN celebrities. So it should be really fun. Um, free admission again. Uh, starts at 11 and continues through the game. And then Saturday evening, there's a student um, ball called the Fall Ball at the UC Ballroom. So um, the students have invited alumni back for that as well. So um, you can contact the David Honor Davidson Honors College for more information on that. Really excited for homecoming this year, and go Grizz! Hello, my name is Jody Moreau. I'm with the Alumni Association. I'm the Outreach Coordinator. Uh, I plan events most of the time for off-campus, outside the state of Montana generally. I am fortunate enough this year, though, to be part of the team that's planning the Alumni Tailgate for Homecoming Saturday. Uh, this tailgate is being planned for those who were unable to purchase tickets to the football game. 
they can come to our event to be held in the East Auxiliary Gym in the Adams Center, uh, where the game will be shown in its entirety uh, with a big screen TV. That'll start at 11 o'clock and run through the end of the game. There will be food and beverage available for purchase uh, with lots of fun to be had by all. Uh, we have the marching band coming through. We have the Split the Pot lady coming through, so you can buy tickets there. It's hopefully going to be just like you were at the game. The sounds from the stadium should be heard. Um, basically, that's about it for the tailgate. We'd love to have you come and join us. After the, after the game itself, we need to, I need to tell you that there is a, an event to be held at Karis Park, a fundraiser for the Alumni Association, a band called Cold Hard Cash will be playing. So after the game, head on down and listen to a great band. Thanks, everybody. I hope we see you on Saturday. Hi, this is Suzanne and I'm the coordinator of the Homecoming Parade this year. It's going to be another memorable, beautiful day in downtown Missoula. Um, we've got over 120 floats with uh, about 10, 12 bands to uh, march down the parade. And we're going to start this year with a Homecoming Hustle, a 5K run that will start at 9.55. Um, so it should be a great event. Um, and uh, we'd like just to remind folks that we will be um, lining floats up from 9 o'clock in the morning, so there will be limited access to the area north of Broadway and uh, west of Warren, or east of Orange Street. So if you can avoid that area at all, that would be wonderful. Um, we'll have some folks there to remind you. So anyway, looking forward to a great parade, a wonderful month, Missoula University tradition. And just a reminder to make sure that it is a memorable occasion that it always is. We're asking folks to make sure that as they distribute candy to the children along the parade route, that they hand it directly to the child and not scatter it on the ground. It just creates a better uh, safety environment for the kids, for the participants. So uh, we're looking forward to a great weekend and uh, excited to have you all there, uh, whether you're part of the parade or whether you're a spectator. So, you all come. Just want to remind you about the Homecoming Hustle. It's a new event sponsored by the track team on campus. It's called the Homecoming Hustle, a 5K run. And runners can sign up uh, online or they can also contact Anders at Runner's Edge in Missoula for sign-up information. Or they can sign up the morning of the parade uh, the run will start at 9.55, right before the parade, which starts at 10. So we're looking forward to that, uh, becoming a part of the University of Montana homecoming parade tradition.
this time, it is my pleasure to introduce the president of the University of Montana, President George Dennison. Thanks, Greg. Thank all of you for being out here. This is a night when we celebrate homecoming and also wish the Grizzlies on to a great victory on Saturday. It's going to be a great game. Let's hear everybody say, Go Grizz! Go Grizz! One more time, not loud enough. Go Grizz! Okay, thank you. How about let's hear our UM Grizzly marching band one more time. This time, let's put our hands together and welcome our athletic director, Mr. Jim O'Day. And uh, to see the new additions at the stadium and everything, it's a very, very special place. Uh, I'm reminded daily how unique the University of Montana is, and I couldn't be prouder to be an alum from here. Uh, now, to hear from another alum, Montana Grizzlies, Bobby Howe. Thank you much. I appreciate that. Uh, welcome back. It's great. Homecoming's the best weekend of the year. It's fun for me. I get a lot of family and friends that are back here. It's a chance, to, the one chance of the year to see some of those folks. And uh, we those folks over there on a 2-0 start to this season. So let's hear it from you. And speaking once again to our team and our assistant coaches, uh, some of what you've accomplished over the past few We haven't lost a conference game since 2005. It's been really remarkable, so I'm proud of this group. They do a great job. <laughs> that gets up here to brag on them a little bit. So with that, I'd like to bring up our three captains, Tom Martin, Colt Anderson, and here first. Just gonna ask these guys a couple of questions. Come on up, men. Be great, Tom. On the side, they won't be able to see us if you stand in front of us. Tom, uh, Tom Martin's a, a young man from Columbus, Montana. Grew up in Columbus, Montana. You walked onto this program when you came to campus. Nobody knew your name. Nobody on the team knew your name. A lot of great people, and uh, it's such a privilege to go out to practice every day, go in the weight room, just do everything with the coaches, and for the rest of your life, uh, that's been the best thing for me. Thank you, Tommy. Well done. Come on up here, Mike. All right, enough of that touchy-feely stuff. Mike Ferreter from Helena, Montana. Uh, and Mike, simple question. What are we going to see out of our offense on Saturday against uh, Cal Davis? Well, Coach, that's a good question. Thanks for asking me. Um, well, first of all, it's definitely not going to be a game for the faint of heart. We're going to go out there and uh, we're going to do our thing. We're going to play fast. We're going to play. I expect, you know, big things out of everyone. Our offensive line, I expect him to go out there and block. 
I expect our running games to block. Um, Receiver-wise, we're going to get lots of cut. I don't know. I'm looking forward to the game on Saturday. we got a great opponent coming in here. And as long as they don't come in and play like Mountain Man Dean, I think we're going to be all right. Very, very good, Mike. The brainwashing's taking effect after five years. I love it. Come on up here. Colt, Colt Anderson, the pride of Butte, is here with us tonight. Mike sounds like he's got a, got the offense ready to go. Mike and the big fellas are going to beat the football. Receivers and a good back, and uh, their line's pretty big. So, uh, you know, what I expect from the defense is uh, just us flying over the pain, and uh, we're going to be damn near criminal. Thank you. Damn near is the uh, day. We're excited to play our second home game. This should be a lot of fun. Uh, college football is the greatest game in the world. Saturday after us out a little bit, and uh, we're going to go out there and give it a heck of a heck of a run and try to get to three and zero. Now we're a young team to do everything right, but we have a chance to be a damn strong football team this year. We're excited about the opportunities in front of us this year. We're off to a nice start. Nobody here knew if we'd be two and zero at this point or not. We're excited to go get that chance to get to 3-0. and Now, Cal Davis is a word about them uh, for a long time up here tonight, but I'm not going to do it because the fact remains, we're the Montana Grizzlies, and they're in the pregame warm-up and your ritual going. And be loud. We'll see it. Go Grizz. If that doesn't get you charged up for Saturday, I don't know what will. How about uh, some crowd participation on this one? Everybody put their hands together with our UM Grizzly Marching Band to lead us in our fight song, Up With Montana. time could we have the cheer captains come forward to say a few words after years of tumultuous studies hard work celebrations of victory and challenges of defeat we stand here today honored to represent the UM spirit squad the students and the university alike Today is a unique day for us because we stand here in front of fans, alumni, students, athletes, faculty, staff, administration, for one thing, success in our future. To succeed, you need to find something to hold on to, something to motivate you, something to inspire you. That is something that the Grizzlies do for this community all the time. Tonight to celebrate a program with a winning tradition. The traditions that get passed down through generations are those that mean the most to us. The ones that have a special place in our hearts and that we look forward to each tradition. We enjoy it, we look forward to it, and some of us live for it. We are born into these traditions, we continue them, and when the time comes to pass, we will pass them on to the next generation. This, week, this weekend is our time to make sure the winning tradition, tradition continues. <laughs> Some people look back on their lives wishing they could change life's sticky situations. 
hearing the roar of the crowd, the boom of the cannon, or the music of the marching band. You won't find a single soul touchdown. Don't forget, we all play a part in making these moments happen. This is such an exciting uh, time for everyone here. And it's wonderful that we have this great joint community campus event. One of the 2008 ambassadors. Uh, there are a couple other things I'd like to, to share with you. Um, would my staff please come up on stage with me, please? I want to take a moment to introduce you to the staff of the, of the University Alumni Relations Office. Directly uh, to my right, Krista Wood, Suzette Dusso, Jody Moreau. So now this small staff under the leadership of our boss, Director Bill Johnston, is responsible for a majority of the events that you'll enjoy this homecoming weekend. Um, we don't play football, but you know we'd be willing to try that too. Um, for example, this event, the, uh, the Class of 1968 reunion, the Distinguished Alumni Award Ceremony, the Homecoming Parade, the Alumni Tailgate, and numerous other events on campus this week, all are the product of this hardworking, talented group. And I'd like it if you'd join me in congratulating them on a job well done. Now get back to work. <laughs> Um, um, my station is sponsoring on Saturday. We're holding it in the East Auxiliary Gym at Adams Center. It's free and open to the public. If you, if you don't have a ticket to the stadium, we'd love to have you come over to our, for the great success that we have with Grizzly football. <laughs> Through her partici participation on the UM Spirit Squad, she enjoys being involved. Great weekend for a Grizz game. So I've learned that the act of brevity can usually be a blessing. So the only thing I'll say is on behalf of the representative you guys who support you guys, give us a good game this weekend. Uh, and we totally support you, um, and we're proud of you guys. So uh, have a good game, have a good night, and I hope to see you guys on Saturday. Who have lost their lives in Iraq, Afghanistan, natural disasters at home, and around the world. So at this time, we'll pause for a moment of silence.
Missoula, Garden City of Montana. It's Back to the Future, University of Montana Homecoming Parade 2008. It's just before the parade and we are going down the University of Montana parade route which is towards the end of the University Homecoming Parade this morning. So uh, follow me and we'll have some inside footage. You'll go to Joel at MCAT Missoula Community Access Television for all of your homecoming excitement this morning. So with that in mind, follow me for a nice journey down the road. University of Montana and all down parts of Higgins are closed to cars so park your cars on the side streets and come on down and check out our homecoming parade here along on the Higgins Avenue. Remember um, if you have animals keep them on leash or keep them at home because it could be loud and uh, enjoy with your kids. Go Grizz! See it's a very empty time down here on Higgins Avenue. We're going the opposite of the parade route. We're heading on down to the Museum Community Access Television where all the parade action will be live and starting here on Channel 7 and the Civic Channel of 7. Looks like we've got a couple of Grizzly fans walking on down. Ooh, how exciting. Back to the future. Go Grizz and take on Davies today at the University of California. Coming on down here in the Garden City, Montana. It's a beautiful day here. Driving down the Higgins Parade route. Very quiet right now. You'll see a lot of other inside side homecoming floats. 120 homecoming floats today. 12 bands are going to be performing. It ought to be a really exciting event. We've got a lot of people down below the Higgins Street Bridge. We've got vendors. It's Saturday Market as well. So check it on out. This is the Clark Fork Market, I believe, down below underneath Cares Park. Grab yourself a nice cup of coffee, some yummy treats from local vendors, and also uh, check out some of the crafts we've got on the side street down here. 
parking down near Karis. Come on down and park down at Karis. Walk yourself down to the parade route, which is on Higgins, starting at the Triple X's, going down to the University Avenue, turning and heading to the University of Montana. Again, the Higgins parade route before the parade going on. I think all the homecoming floats are hiding or we're getting closer to the action. The parade starts at 10 o'clock. It's about 8.30 now, so come get your warm clothes, get your chairs, and uh, wave. 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 Oh, we got, we just went across the uh, street. Up, oh, we got the uh, Saturday Market Street Vendors, all oh, your craft markets here on Pine Street. A couple blocks down at the Triple Exits, you will see the, uh, all of the food vendors. So with that in mind, we're going to find a lovely place to park. Heading over here to MCAT and on, a, on foot for some more roving reporting from Kelly Hagan, Missoula Community Access Television. This is the Saturday market we're going to down here. How exciting. Looks like I'm going to have to find a place to park beyond the parade here. So I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, ready for the homecoming parade. We got a parade over here. We got some homecoming floats on the side here. How lovely, come on over. Wave. Look at that, ooh, look at that. Yeah, go Chris. Everyone, who are ya? Yay, I'm center. Go Chris, woohoo, bye ladies. Run faster! This is on MCAT, you guys. Woo! Say hello. Hi. What, Hi. what high school? Okay. Right on. Ah, float for K-Pax. Beginning of the parade are out. Go, Grizz! Where's our team spirit this morning? Go Grizz! Go Grizz! Woohoo! Woo Practice now. This is gonna be on MCAT, so. Yay! Bye! Yay! <laughs> Yay! We have the homecoming parade route. We are just coming on the edge in the, this, near the Saturday market today. Check out the Saturday market while you're here. Checking out the homecoming parade. Getting ready for all uh, lining up here on Higgins. A lot of fans. Oh yeah, she's definitely a fan. Chris, you guys will be on MCAT. Can you say hi? Hi! Yay! Oh, look at all the lovely cars parked. Lawsuit's here. Uh-oh. He's way down there. Awesome! Can you say hey, go Chris? Go Chris! Right on! Right on. Go Chris. Right on. This is the parade route we're going down. Just kind of travel on down. I heard Monty's down below. We're going to see if we can find Monty. Monty the Bear for the University of Montana mascot. Ambulance crews are getting ready for the action. I hope we don't see a lot of injuries today, just a lot of fun. Our MCAT crew is getting ready for the action here outside. They're going to be performing live or film is going to be recording live with Joel. I don't know who his sidekick is this year. It was Nancy of Nancy's Bluebird show last year. Let's sneak in on Philip here. Yep, there you go. See, they're all uh, Christian. And go Chris. Hey, 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 hey. This is pre-roll. Hey, hey, hey. Got him. This is, this is the behind the scenes here at MCAT. Ah, oh, look, everybody's up there, Ron and everybody. I'm down here at MCAT Studio. The parade route is going to start in about an hour and five minutes, uh, 10 o'clock. Come on down, check it out. It's going to be a lot of fun. Back to the Future is now 2008 Homecoming Parade. A lot of Grizzly fans lining up for a great seat. This is the corner of Higgins and Spruce. Can you say go Grizz? Go Grizz! Right on! <laughs> if you want information on Missoula events, maps, and all kinds of goodies about the Garden City, come on down, check out this gentleman and the vendor, B.I.D.
Go Grizz. Real good. Much better than I would have done. <laughs> Fans getting ready also for the first 5K homecoming parade run along with the parade. Great way to stay in shape. <laughs> Heading down to the Wilma where the president is supposed to be talking and the mayor. Schweitzer tossing the pigskin a little bit. Good job, baby. 
say he's got pretty good form. Not bad for a forward Maybe pass. Put him in a jersey and there you go. Have a deep third straight. There you go. Who's going long for the governor? Who's going long? Is that a seagull? 
Oh, it's a double piece? Yeah. Oh, I get a piece, I get a piece. Yeah. Okay, okay. I thought maybe it was a single I needed to hide my lunch. Just don't walk right under it. I'm not going to walk under it, no, no. Steve's under it, watch out. He's got his hat on, though. He's a smart man. <laughs> Just in case, right, Steve? You're kind of under the tail section there. <laughs> oh, my goodness yeah. gracious. No, it's the U.S.
Bill Nooney. Everyone pass it through and say hi. <laughs> and John McCain. <laughs>
chapter 60. Brought to you by Train for Rent. There you go, I like your shirt. <laughs> Union Pacific Railway, very nice. Did you just say Union Specific? I love it, a man and his greyhound. Lots of different unions represented here. They've got the uh, local 427 hotel and restaurant employees, the American Postal Workers, oh, the Office of Professional that. Employees, Plumbers and Pipe Fitters Local Union, Electrical Workers Union, MEA, Maybe some friends, maybe someone else to talk to and say, how are you handling this? Just go ahead and 
get a hold of moms, mothers of preschoolers. You know they have a program called Dads of Preschoolers that was called. And I know Taylor Peterson's on this float somewhere. I am. She's okay. playing one of those fiddles.